Hello everybody, it's just Charlie here from Sterling Power. So what we have here demonstrating is a BB1225 that we've tweaked with software, that's all it is, a software tweak, down to 10 amps. Now, we are getting asked fairly, fairly frequently, do you have a DC-DC charger that will charge and be within spec of the style, this is just a generic portable power bank you know uh, handle on it you take it out camping you want to put it into your car or your camper van or your rv and charge it up while you're driving along well this is the solution it's a 10 amp current limiting dc to dc charger so it will run nicely from the 12 volt outlet the cigarette style socket that you get in well all, all vehicles really uh, you won't blow the fuse, you're within that 150 watt, sometimes they say 180 watt max, down the wire or down your uh, system through the 15 amp fuse in the back in, in, uh, in the vehicle. So it keeps within the spec of your vehicle. It's a simple plug and play product. Also, power banks like this, they have different connectors on here, so you'd need to ensure that you've got the right connector on the other side. They're all a bit different, there isn't any universal standard this one for example has small anderson sockets so it's quite a nice little connection when the batteries go flat flat on these they often need a live voltage to wake them up most dc dc chargers rely on seeing some voltage on the output to wake the power banks up however this one has been set to lithium where it forces the voltage on the output that when this one was flat for example a few minutes ago it actually woke the battery up, which was nice. So it will just charge, no problem whatsoever, kick the thing into life. And as you can see, we're charging at 10 amps at 11.4 volts. So it'll take a wee while to charge up that battery, but it will get there eventually. But the key thing is that you're within spec of all the wiring and the fuses on board most vehicles, camper vans, that sort of thing. And you're within the spec of the, the, the power brick as well. This one, for example, the max charge current in, is about 10 amps. is about 180 watts or so. So we're within spec. Now, the output voltage on this can be adjusted slightly. So, uh, But you don't really need to. The, the, the converter inside the, the brick should do the actual main battery charging internally. All you really need to do is provide it around 14 or 15 volts which you can do with this little device. Now, I can see other advantages of a 10 amp current limiting DC to DC charger. There are very few, I struggled to find any on the market that were that low, but pre-existing cabling on board trailers, for example, they might be only this thin. So they're really only capable of drawing 10 amps down the wire. And of course, if you plug that in directly onto the start battery you'd blow the fuse if you're charging a cable or charging a battery right at the back of the trailer so you need the ability to current limit to the the rating of the wire to save you having to rewire the whole of the trailer and everything else this will provide a nice constant 10 amps 10 amps isn't very much but the chances are if you've got very thin wire the battery at the end of that long cable run will be doing very very little work in the grand scheme of things you might be using it once or twice a day for a short period of time in which case a 10 amp trickle feed all day is absolutely sufficient but the key is to keep within the infrastructure of your system i.e small fuses 15 amp rated fuses and thin cabling so it will save you having to rewire everything also some of the small lithium batteries, the sort of the 20 amp lithium ba 20, 20 amp hour lithium batteries, they've got about a 10 amp limit in terms of charge. So if you wanted to charge up a 10 amp battery or a 20 amp hour battery at 10 amps, then this would be ideal because you're keeping within the spec of the lithium battery. And you could say the same thing about um, you know any other small batteries on board or any you know if you've got a battery that you seldom use but you just want to keep it topped up thin wiring you can use this little device just to keep it keep it charged so yeah that's the new bb1210 and eff effectively it's a 1225 that we've just detuned to 10 amps 
Uh, we you, Also on the remote control, you can reduce it to 9 amps and you can reduce it to about 7 amps. So if, if you want even lower than a 10 amp charge, you can do that via the, re, via the remote control here. So yeah, got all the same functions. It's got the reverse charging feature as well. So if you wanted to charge back, it'll charge back at around 10 amps back to your, your input battery. So it will charge in both directions, just like the other B2Bs that look like this. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.